All right. Uh, next up, uh, Matinicus, you doing okay? I see you're getting interrupted by folks at work. Um, so I'm going to share my screen, and then you're up. Okay. This case study is a beautiful example of how an innovative product that nobody's ever heard of can market itself through a combination of educational marketing and really solid lead generation. Matinika Sanger is with Pathwaves. I'm a client of Pathwaves. It is a neuro reprogramming uh, regimen that is so innovative that uh, it takes a little bit of explaining uh, before you hook those electrodes up to your brain. And so that's a big marketing challenge and it's a challenge that a lot of folks do who are creating new pathways in their chosen segment where they've created a brand new product and they have to first educate the public about that product and then convince them that they're the best choice for it. I know when I was working at a software startup, we did marketing gamification, a relatively new concept. And so we had to educate our potential customers about what the heck marketing gamification even was. This is playing games in your marketing and then convince them that our software solution was the right one. So I really sympathize with Matinicus's challenge, which is not insignificant to essentially create a new market for a brand new kind of service. Matinicus, uh, it's great to have you. You're a fabulous participant in the class. The Tennessee Sengar of Pathwaves. Okay, can everyone hear me all right? Excellent. You Thank right. you, Dan, for the uh, the introduction. I, uh, I I appreciate the 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 sympathy and the the sim similar kind of experience. Um, it is certainly a worthwhile challenge, though. So, the story of me. When, well, my name is Matenica Sanger. Um, I am named after an island off the coast of Maine. Um, it has a beautiful harbor and a very tiny airstrip. I recommend you go visit it. It has a lovely bakery. When I was in college, I, or when I went to college, I started wanting to work with startups in the tech and STEM fields. And that was because I had the belief that there were plenty of amazing researchers doing outstanding science and not enough people to communicate the value of their findings to investors, consumers, and ultimately government. Um, when I was a sophomore in college, that was the first time I really struggled with mental health, as so many in our country do. And what made it especially difficult was that I couldn't understand the reason why I was struggling, why it felt like I couldn't sleep, eat, or even think, why it felt like I was alone when I saw my friends and family around me helping me and supporting me. I built some pretty strong coping techniques and I got through and I thought I was doing well enough until 2019 when I went to Pathwaves for five days and my life completely changed. They taught me via the neuroscience, via the education required to get to a place where you can really utilize what we do here. That all culminated in teaching me why I am the way I am. And they did a lot more than treat my mental health. They showed me how the human brain and mind interact and function with one another. They showed me that they were onto something that would soon change the world. So I believe that we as a species are on the cusp of helping people and understanding one another like we never have before. We'll soon live in a world where veterans don't struggle with PTSD, where depression is well understood and easily helped and where everyday people can be fully themselves without any of the shame or hesitation that currently limits them and holds them back. Ultimately, where people who struggle with mental health can get real answers um, rather than never ending prescriptions and years and years of therapy. So my name is Matenicus and I help everyday people change their lives really quickly. Our case study, um, I identify three problems that I really wanted to work on. Identifying the target market and tailoring the message, generating qualified leads for that market, and then improving overall the customer viewer interactions with my education material. In identifying the market, I developed a profile called the Chief Human Capital Officer, the CHCO. Um, and I believe this is because entrepreneurs are not necessarily the lowest hanging fruit for our marketing, 
but the biggest avenue of growth um, in terms of people who are looking for a real solution that can help them bring their company up to their dreams. Um, I found that I had appropriate placement um, and highly specific attributes for these people, but my message was communicated in a way that did not really drive urgency with them. I was marketing our results, our efficacy, because I believe that is our strongest kind of, what makes this program great is that you get those results quickly rather than having to go through years of therapy. Um, but ultimately results aren't sexy. Generating qualified leads was the second struggle, um, I, or second challenge. I overcame this using what BizHack taught me about the two-step verification process um, for these lead gen forms on Facebook. Um, so I utilized that second step to create more qualified leads. And ultimately, um, one challenge I am looking to overcome is connecting a lead gen form to a calendar application so that people can book consultations with me directly from the Facebook lead. And then improving that connection, that communication of what is truly something challenging to communicate. Um, I redesigned the second ad per some of your suggestions, um, starting with some of the outcomes from our treatment that you can expect, um, cutting some of the non-essential material and shortening the overall length. This worked for creating a shorter video that got to the point faster. It did not work for really engaging with people in a way that was going to generate leads. And I got some feedback on why that might be from some of my coworkers. My second ad, my insights from it are, well, its performance was, was poor, uh, to be honest with you. All the dollar per lead, everything metrics were off. And I expect this is partially due to the retargeting of my audience based on through plays, rather than sticking with my initial audience design from the start. This process has taught me, just to continue on some of those insights, that the existing marketing we have, our branding and our awareness, is more important than I had originally given it credit. I kind of went out on a limb to try to market what I believe is our most competitive asset, our effectiveness, um, but my results suggest that I really pushed maybe a little bit too hard on the education component and should have possibly saved that for a video library once people had already converted into leads. The client's true interest and understanding in what this can do for them really only comes after the consultation. Sometimes when people ask me what I do, I, I joke, you know, you got, you got half an hour and two PowerPoints, because um, that's really what it requires to get down to the bones of how we can help you. Prior to the consult, I think the best way they find us is when we advertise solutions and build awareness. There, there's no rushing people into consideration. And in the future, my messaging will focus more on the efficacy. I, I really like this angle, but it will utilize some of the luxury brand persona and feel that our social media accounts have already worked to build. Again, those results were fairly poor, 619 impressions down to 11 clicks, two leads and ultimately zero conversions. I think people didn't stay on the ad long enough for them to understand what we can do with them. And that's not on them, uh, that's on me for creating an ad that did that. My biggest ahas, um, the people really do buy based on emotion. And a good explanation might satisfy me, but it's not gonna bring in customers. So I can save that explanation for later down the road once they're in the consideration phase. This one, I like that it rhymes. Um, awareness and planting seeds is greater than rushing leads. Uh, that's a big aha that I learned from this whole experience. And then the quality content, save it for a video library. Once people sign up for your email list, keep the 30 minute discussions in there. What's next for me is I'm going to expand our existing marketing campaign um, using some of what I learned in BizHack. Uh, we're moving into what we call a red carpet defined end program. You've probably seen advertisements for these, something like a five week fitness boot camp. Our base option, I want it to be in the $2,000 range. Um, and we're working right now on automating some of our systems to enable this. Um, you can expect to get these results, you know, feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, and focused in this time frame. And I, I really do stand by that claim. 
Our better program is really more of our basic program. This is about learning how to get past just coping because you can learn how to cope from a decent psychologist in about a year. We can accomplish that with you in four days. The rest of our sessions in this program are what to do past coping because coping is, is just managing. There's, there's very little joy in it. There's very little creating what you really wanna create while you're just managing the, the things that life is throwing at you. And then our best program would be a fully customized experience to help you sleep, feel, and just generally perform better than ever before. Um, this is getting all of your nervous system online with your intentions. If a soccer player walks out onto a field and wants to perform their absolute best, it's gonna require that their nervous system isn't making their palms sweat. It's not making their heart race. Uh, their, their you know, hormone glands, all of that are firing in ways that are appropriate for their position on the field. Um, ultimately, it's having full control over your breath, nervous system, feeling, mood, performance at, at a almost a cellular kind of level. So thank you for your time, everybody. Um, that is my number. Feel free to text me on my business cell. And as always, you can email me. So thank you so much. As, uh, as Martinicus coach, uh, Martinicus, it's, it's been fantastic. And you are the perfect example on how to learn from the experience. And, and you've analyzed and uh, you really looked at the results and very humbly you identified, you know, what could be improved upon. You were, you have done such a great job learning from these campaigns and really identifying quickly when there was an, uh, an issue. Uh, you've been, uh, because you were doing this quickly too, you've been looking for answers, right? And uh, reaching out when you really needed it. But, um, and I have to say, Martinicus was always like, really busy but it really made the time and i know everybody is super busy right and voila so there was always phone calls you know and uh but he, he really uh found the time and really understood the link between mar uh, between marketing and sales and that it was not you know marketing was one thing and sales was another one so um uh, so really made the link between the two. Um, Martinicus was also very creative. That's a complex product, right? So um, using the doodle to explain this complex product was just brilliant. Now, quickly you identified that, okay, is great, but I was explaining the product. I was not... Um, giving enough of what you get out of the product, you know, so, um, so Martinicus, I'm, I'm, I'm so proud. I think you're on a great path. Um, I think one of your strengths too, is that you are, um, so passionate about it. And the greatest pleasure is to work with someone who truly want to help people. So congratulations, Martinicus. Thank you, Thank Natalie. You, Natalie. Pleasure, 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 pleasure working as well.